Hi there, Mr. Farlow here and today I'll be talking about one of Stanislavski's techniques, the magic if. Ideally, Stanislavski would have actors draw upon their personal experiences because this would get the most realistic response from them. Stanislavski wasn't unreasonable and he knew that we as people have limited experiences and it's not always possible that we will have the exact same ones as the characters in a play. Having performed in many plays himself, Stanislavski knew that an actor's greatest tool was their imagination because it's limitless. So Stanislavski would have his actors draw on their imagination in order to reflect on the characters of a script. He wanted the actors to walk a mile in the characters' shoes so that they could understand them fully. He wanted his actors to ask themselves very seriously how they would react in those specific circumstances and in that way they could perfectly simulate real life on stage. There are a few different ways that we can choose to approach this exercise. We might choose to meditate on the character's experience and this gives us an opportunity not only to think deeply about the character but also to think about ourselves and how we would react in that particular circumstance. A written reflection is quite similar in that it requires us to think deeply about the character situation and about ourselves personally. The benefit of writing your reflection down, however, is that you can consistently refer back to it in the development of your character and throughout the performance phase. Sometimes the most productive thing we can do as actors is have a conversation with another performer. Sometimes we will struggle to understand a character and what they are experiencing but we might find ourselves in the fortunate situation where a fellow actor has had a similar experience. In this case, it's helpful to have a conversation with them to investigate what they were thinking and feeling at the time they experienced this similar situation. We can take this on board, but we can also come to a better understanding how we might think and feel in that specific circumstance and hence bring a greater reality to the stage when we perform. Now you may think that this technique sounds extremely simple, but there's a catch. Whilst magic if forces us to think about how we would react in a specific circumstance, we cannot do anything that would betray the script. So if a character is forced to face their greatest fear and he or she does not run in the script, we are not able to do so. We must find it within ourselves to be able to confront the fears of the character should the script demand it. Using this technique is not always easy. Sometimes it can even be quite confronting because the script will force us to do something we would not otherwise do in real life. But it's important that we try to empathize with our characters to understand them as best we can in order to present a realistic performance. Sometimes this even means facing our own fears. And through characters, we may even come to better understand ourselves. The important thing for us as actors is that we don't shy away from challenges. And regardless of what a character has experienced, that we try our best to understand their circumstances, their thoughts and their feelings to best present the reality of the script. It's important that you dig deep and try your very best because it is in doing so that you will find great treasures. Created using Powtoon.